Uh, it, it took about five years from start to finish. Um, we had to do a, a full site rebuild. So there's certainly a number of planning things that had to be done. And because of the size of the investment, we had to do a uh, cross check with the best fit for our company. And Greensboro fortunately came out as the best fit for our employees and our business. And that's really when all of the activity with the county and the city and the state you know, picked up speed. We want to design an office that would be a great fit for our collaboration spirit commitment here at the company. And the campus that we're on now, where the old buildings were, there were several buildings, they were centrally powered, which means that we had to push the air across the site. It wasn't very efficient. So we were actually able to build a more productive uh, office with everybody under one roof uh, for a really similar cost, quite honestly, as trying to put a new HVAC system in multiple buildings. And so it became a smart decision for the employee and the business. Well, I would feel very good about us being here for the long term. This is a major investment. Uh, we mentioned over $140 million, uh, and it certainly has uh, a life in terms of the ability of the building to support us. But it's also important that people love where they live. And so we've got some very skilled, high-tech people here. They love living in Greensboro, and now they're committed to stay and enjoy this new site. Our people at Greensboro, um, from a Syngenta perspective, are very active in the community. And so we're good corporate citizens on one hand. What we do from a standpoint of agriculture is really important to citizens around the world, including Greensboro, in terms of food productivity. And uh, what we're trying to do is to make sure that people understand what we do and they see us active in giving back to the community. So the spirit of our employees and the actions that they have with key groups in the community is probably what most people see in our community.